Hello music fans, Bill Cogswell here. I'm talking to you today from my new home studio. Uh, actually, we're going to call it the Back Central Studio. I'm going to call it that because my recording software calls up the location from GPS and I'm right at the back edge of the downtown central district of Lowell and so it calls it up and calls it Back Central. Uh, but at any rate, I'm really glad that you could join me here today. Um, I uh, have a, several videos already posted on YouTube and I uh, plan on doing quite a bit more. Um, and I wanted to start out today uh, sort of comparing two really nice guitars that I'm fortunate enough to be caretaker of. Uh, both of them are from the wonderful Froggy Bottom Company up in Vermont. Um, and uh, one of them I've had for a number of years and another one I just acquired yesterday and I thought it was a nice opportunity to uh, uh, do a comparison video. So what I plan to do is a couple of different tunes on both of the guitars. I'll probably do something in standard tuning and one in one of the open tunings and uh, give you a chance to hear how they sound and compare to one another. They're both set up with the same strings and I'm going to record them on the same recording equipment and microphones. So should be a pretty fair comparison and usually I get decent enough results with these microphones that I'm using. I've got a Royer 121 ribbon mic and a Rode uh, condenser mic and uh, the, usually the results are pretty good and I don't have to do any post-production editing or EQ or any of that fun stuff. Um, so uh, I'm going to describe the two guitars uh, and then uh, start recording those and I'll put everything together for you to view. And if you like these videos, uh, be sure to hit the like button uh, and uh, subscribe if you want to see when new things come out. As I said, I've just got this studio set up again. I have a bunch of old videos on the uh, my YouTube channel, but I plan on doing quite a bit of new ones. So uh, thanks very much for checking in. So. Uh, the first guitar is the one I've had for a while, and this is a Froggy Bottom. Uh, it's an L Deluxe, uh, and the Deluxe is just basically a trim level. It refers to the you know things like the bound headboard and some of the uh, purfling and uh, the, the uh, neck inlays. And so this little L1 is the smallest of the the uh, bunch in the Froggy catalog. Um, and they're a delightful little guitar. I love parlor guitars, smaller bodied guitars. I think they have a wonderful balance and presence to them. And uh, this is one of my favorites. Uh, this has a spruce top, Adirondack spruce top, and an incredible Koa back and sides body. It's just amazing. And I, I don't know that the video is going to capture it really well, but it's got this incredible flame effect to it that changes depending on the light. Um, and uh, like all froggy bottoms, the workmanship is absolutely spectacular. It's uh, just a fine, lovely, lovely instrument, and uh, I really enjoy playing it, and I hope you folks will enjoy listening to it. So that's the Froggy L, and then the other guitar is the one I just picked up yesterday. I got it from a good friend of mine up in Vermont, Jim Sardonis. Mm -hmm. Um, he and I sold a few guitars back and forth to one another. And this is a little bit bigger bodied guitar. It's their H12. And the 12 is referring to the fact that it's got 12 frets clear of the body. They also have an H14. And I'm sort of more of a fan of the uh, 12 frets clear of the body slot head type guitars. So uh, this one's a little bit older than that, Froggy. That one's a, a 2016 and this is a 2006. And uh, I believe I'm now the third owner. Jim bought it from somebody else. Uh, this also has an Adirondack spruce top, but it has a East Indian rosewood body. So the backs and side of this lovely tight grained East Indian rosewood. Um, and Froggy doesn't, didn't, hasn't and doesn't make a ton of guitars with the shade top or the sunburst top. Uh, this one happens to have it, and I think it's really pretty. Um, the other nice feature of it, and I hope you can, I can get a good shot of it, but uh, there's this beautiful scrimshaw type inlay on the uh, heel cap of a catamount or a uh, uh, mountain lion, uh, which uh, is sort of appropriate for Froggy Bottoms being from Vermont, because uh, there are definitely catamounts up in the Green Mountain State. So uh, another lovely, lovely guitar. Uh, 
just can't say enough about it, and uh, I'll get to doing the recordings and get this posted, and hopefully you'll all enjoy. Thanks so much. Cheers.
And there you go. I hope you enjoyed the froggy shootout, and I uh, really do appreciate you listening. Uh, I'm very interested in any comments you might have. Please leave them in the comment box below. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button, and if you'd like to hear more of my videos as they get published, uh, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you on the club, and uh, thank you so much again for listening. Cheers.